Okay. Um, this is a new kind of idea uh, in terms of what I'm playing with, but it's an old idea compared to some of what other guys are doing. Um, as I mentioned before, in a couple of the, the um, cell designs that I've had, I've had problem with heat, and I think I've been able to solve it with a new design. Um, as you can see there, um, doing pretty good. I, I'm going to yet measure that, but I'm kind of excited about this. But as you can see, I've put this up here on the board to give you an idea what I did. Um, and a, a bunch of guys are doing this too, and, and I need some help on figuring out a couple more things. As you can see, there's my bubbler. Um, and as you can see now, here's my cell. I tried to um, use the old plate uh, that I pulled out of my PVC and uh, encased it in here. And uh, it's kind of an interesting design. Uh, the, what I was hoping to see uh, through all this was that I would be able to keep the electrodes cool. And so far, they're staying really nice and cool. Uh, I haven't had this uh, running for very long, but as you can see, there's a the positive electrode on that side. The, the plate design is exactly the same as the previous video. Uh, but as it, and, and I used a lot of plexiglass. As you see, I used a lot of goop to seal this. I um, took a while to figure out how to seal it and seal it well. Um, but as you can see, if you can take a close-up view here, you can see how the fluid level inside fluctuates. You see it fills up to the top. You can see the bubbles forming. Uh, but then the, the, the fluid in the upper part, upper tube, stops. For a moment, the fluid level goes here, it goes down here, which is obviously HHO gas that's building up. Um, and it'll go just below the plates, or sometimes sooner than that, and then flow up to the top. We see a lot of flow going up to the t to bubbler. Uh, and I'm assuming it creates a, at least a positive pressure inside the, um, uh, at least inside here in, in the bubbler and giving rise to a pretty decent amount of production here. Now, I've only had this running for about 20 minutes, and um, it seems like it's going good. It's only running at 10 amps so far, as you can see. But it's just that fluid goes up, and then it goes down as more pressure builds up. I don't have a constant flow of fluid or gas going up through the upper tube, going to the bubbler. It just kind of slowly works its way up there. And then fills up again. So I think this helps take care of the heat issue. The connections are very close to the fluid. Um, the fluid keeps it cool. Everything's circulating through. Probably the fluid's going to get hot with time. I can feel it starting to get a a little bit warm here, but I'm going to leave it on for um, uh, an hour or so. Um, but I'm excited that things are working out pretty good. And there you have it. So comments, please. I would uh, appreciate any feedback as to how to get the fluid going perhaps a little bit more rapidly. My hope was to have fluid going through the cell so quickly to remove bubbles quickly from the electrolyzer plates. Uh, well, obviously, obviously, I'm not achieving that, and I figure that if I can get more fluid going in there quickly, more um, more bubbles can form, um, since new bubbles will be flushed out just because of the flow of the electrolyte. Um, and uh, I'd like to see if it can get faster, but uh, get this going faster. But uh, anything that you could recommend, I would very much appreciate it. Again, just about 10 amps. Filling up slowly again. So, anything you can help me with on this, I would be very much thankful.